loosen this bolt right here that's on the side uh, of course you need to first remove the turbo which I just did in uh, one of my last videos um, to get some access to it you could probably do it without it but this is gonna be a bolt that's about two inches long so it helps without having uh, nothing in your way so this is a number 22 socket it does kind of shake on here but a number 21 does not fit so maybe it's an inch or something so 22 is what I'm gonna be using and I'm also going to be removing the head plate that's on here this top piece um, and also I'm gonna be removing that bolt this bolt is sitting directly behind your high-pressure fuel pump this will help get things loosened uh, to remove the chain it's not gonna be quite removed because it's gonna go to the bottom but the idea is to just uh, show you how um, how to basically uh, this is a tensioner how to loosen the tensioner and just get the chain out of the way because that's a whole other video about how to put in the chain the right way and all the marking and stuff like that so so here we go okay back to explaining about the camshafts how to remove them whenever you're gonna remove them make sure you will put them exactly back as you remove them as you could tell this side is a1 and then the next one a2 a3 and so on they need to be exactly the same way you cannot even like flip them over so if that a1 is on this side you need to make sure it's going to be on the left side just like you took it off same thing goes for this side this is e1 e2 e3 you'll need to actually make sure you put them back the same way um, without flipping them over so that's very important or they're not gonna fit they're not gonna work right so to remove this chain what you need to do is in no specific order you'll need to remove that bolt right there this is where the high pressure fuel pump goes you'll need to remove this bolt and you'll need to remove this bolt which is located right next to the turbo to remove it you're gonna have a lot of stuff that's in the way this dipstick is kind of like in the way this little pipe here and you'll need to first remove um, this oil pipe from the turbo that goes to the engine it's being held by a uh, number eight type of bolt so first I'm gonna remove this oil tube there I'm also gonna remove this high pressure fuel pump bump, bolt and also this plate I'm gonna remove just to give me some easy access this is called uh, the head plate which is right here all right then I'm gonna be removing this little pipe tensioner bolt I just got loose it was not on there really tight but you could remove it like that looks like there's some oil I'm gonna first need to drain this oil so it's not gonna go everywhere all right that oil is draining so it looks like there's still some oil on there not too much but it's draining into the pan so I guess you would still have a little bit of oil removing so I just want to get that on video what will happen once I remove it as you can see nothing happened just yet and this is supposed to be the tensioner bolt the bolt is now out of the way it did not really impact anything for now so I'm gonna remove this little center bolt inside guys to remove the center bolt I recommend you use an E12 type of tool let me see if I could yeah E12 right there this is a tool by gear range I got it at advanced auto parts a while back I needed it for something but it's exact shaped uh, what you need so you will not end up stripping a bolt which you might not if you use something else but that would be the better way to go about it just get an E12 the proper tool after all you're working inside of the engine if you end up stripping it you'll have to get a whole new part and that might cost you more than actual piece of uh, you know the E12 piece so just get one and you'll have it all right I got my bolt loose I wasn't taking any chances I decided to use this longer piece here 
it seems like it spins just fine so you know that's what I decided to use I want to see what's gonna happen because this is my first time doing it I'm gonna pull this out uh, that piece it's supposed to sort of like drop inside but don't worry if it does it's not really gonna go anywhere especially right now we're just taking out um, this chain and my whole idea is to go ahead and uh, remove the head so I have all these little steps I gotta do so I'm gonna try to undo it and there you go looks like it's out okay let's see what's gonna happen looks like this piece is kind of moving but it's it's not out and none of this stuff is is out yet so I'm gonna be removing the face plate next okay and the head plate all the bolts are out I've removed all of them so I haven't tried to move this piece or wiggle it or shake it or anything but looks like oh yeah just pulled out on it lightly and it came right out I set the, um, the head plate out of the way and you could kind of see um, the chain kind of moves now it's not really moving yet okay so what I ended up doing is I went ahead and um, you know uh, pry this little roller off and I put a screwdriver on it as you could see it kind of it's with the gears kind of see if I could get this nice and clear there you go it's kind of like tensions the chain so I'm gonna pull the center piece off that other gear is most likely gonna fall inside that's what it kind of looks like but it's okay um, I'll fish it out later all right I know the chain is loose um, next I'll be removing this little um, cam piece from the camshaft so that I could go ahead and uh, you know remove the chain but as I told you guys I won't be removing it all the way uh, the purpose of this is to get it loose enough to where I could pull the cam off and start pulling these uh, cam cams off out of here camshafts so that's what I'm gonna be doing next um, on the next video so this uh, concludes the video for now um, stay tuned for the next part uh, in me removing the cams and the camshaft Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like or subscribe uh, to my videos or do both. Uh, whatever you would like. Um, thanks for having you guys. Come back next time. Bye-bye.